Hello my lovelies, so welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you guys an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell of the title of the video, today we're going to be playing around with a Halloween palette. It is the Strange and Unusual palette from Bella Beauty bar. I'm super excited. I'm pretty sure this is my very first Halloween themed palette. Um, so I'm actually pretty excited. The color story is what mainly attracted me to this palette. So if you want to see what my thoughts are on this palette and whether it's worth your money in case you were interested in picking it up, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, my lovelies, so this strange and unusual palette from Bella Beauty Bar, it has a 12-month shelf life. I don't see anywhere on here where it says uh, where it was made, but the list of ingredients are right here, and the, and the words are super big, which is nice. They are cruelty-free, and this palette cost me $69. Now, Bella Beauty Bar is an independently owned indie brand, meaning them themselves when it comes to the financial aspect of whole brand. They don't have anyone helping them out financially. They pay for everything, which is nice. I enjoy supporting smaller indie brands. I know there are indie brands that are a little bit bigger, like Melt Cosmetics, Sigma, but I enjoy supporting smaller indie brands where um, you can tell that it's like a one woman or one man show, you know? Okay, so here is the palette. It's Itself. and in the back it's the same just the ingredients and then here I don't see anywhere where the palette was made so I'll have to look it up but here is the color story and it is a very unusual one isn't it even though I love Halloween I don't wear those typical Halloween colors on a day-to-day -day basis so like purples oranges greens it's not something that i wear on a day-to-day -day. so as much as i love halloween and as much as i love almost every single halloween themed palette that comes out every year i don't really take the plunge and purchase one because it's just gonna sit there but this color story this color story really called out to me you do get a mirror and then right in here it says i myself am strange and unusual which is a line from the movie beetlejuice and that is what this palette is themed around the movie beetlejuice so um i think i'm going to create two eye looks and yeah let's get started okay so this is a very intimidating palette it contains four multi chromes one area iridescent multi-chrome, four duochromes, five luxe mattes, and one matte sparkle. So I'm guessing matte sparkle means just a matte that has some sheen in it. I think I'm going to start with Beetlejuice. Okay, so this is a Morphe N Jaclyn JH30, and I think I'm just going to pack this. My kid's being so loud. Right in the outer corner. And I'm starting just with packing. So I believe the beauty brand right now is located in Florida, but it started in New York City. I'm going to bring it a tiny bit up. It's a pretty green. I have the NARS Eye Base. I wish this shade was a tiny bit more pigmented. I feel like I really have to build up the shade. I'm gonna come down here, only about halfway in. Okay, and now with this Morphe M456, going to dip in to the bright green in the palette, which is recently deceased. And then I'm going to use this to blend out the edges of that beetle. Beetle guys <laughs> shade. This looks like it might be a almost neon kind of green, but I also get the feeling that if you blend it out to too much, it it probably blends out to nothing. So I figured I would approach it this way. But it's very pretty. It's a very pretty, unique shade. That's for sure. 
Uh, again, this mossy green. I just wish it had a tiny bit more pigment than it does. Okay, that's what that's looking like. So pretty. I think I'm going to deepen up the outer corner just the tiniest bit. I'm going to jump into this pretty purple here. Beetlejuice, the way that it's spelled. Okay, and I'm just lightly dipping my brush. This is a Sigma E45. It's like a small little tapered brush. And this is going to go right in here. I'm tapping first. doesn't look like a complete mat. It's not as deep as I thought it was going to be. I am going to bring it down here just a tiny bit. Just in the outer corner. This is a very Beetlejuice appropriate I look. It looks like it's turning out to be. Okay, this is what it's looking like. It was a journey to get here. <laughs> I kind of messed up this eye a tiny bit. I brought that purple out a tiny bit too much. Also, this purple is not the best and it's not layering all that great on top of the other shadows. Okay, now we're jumping into some shimmers, which I feel like that's going to be the star of the show for this palette is the shimmers. So I think I want to start with purple. This one looks like it has a shift to it. How about this one? No, let's go in with this shade here. Bio Exorcist. I did put down some glitter glue, my trusty NYX glitter glue. Oh, look at that going to go right in here. Probably should have done the other purple, but I really want to play with this shade. It just looks so pretty, you know? Okay, and in the inner corner of the lid, I'm jumping in to Lost Souls. This one has, you can't even see it. It's like a mossy, it looks more um, mossy brown than it does green. I'm looking at it and it looks green, but in the camera, it looks like a mossy brown. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Index finger. Yeah, see, no, you're... You can't see the green that I see. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's going to work out. But it's so pretty. Okay, and for the inner corner, I'm going to jump in to Sandworm. Or maybe I should do white. Should I do white? No. Let's do sandworm right here. This is an Ofra little pencil brush. I don't even know what the shift of this one. It looks like it might be purple green. I am going to spray just so I make sure that it's... Oh yeah, that's pretty. A tiny bit down here and I am going to just a tiny bit to bring it up because it's bare in there and my eyelid's actually very dry. So hopefully that will cover some of it. Okay, my lovelies, here is the finished eye look. I decided to do more of an orangey kind of blush. So I first ran into this Rare Beauty liquid blush in Love. It's like a terracotta type of orange and then I topped it off with the orange one here in the tiger palette from Hourglass and for the highlight I decided to bring out my Odin's eye this is in warm sunshine it's like a pretty um it has a shift of orange in there like a light orange and for the lips this is a lunar beauty um liquid lipstick and this is in wicked i have not used this in so long but it still smells like vanilla which is nice and for the liner i went in to a nyx 
liner in white for my waterline and I used the highlight for my brow bone. But yeah, here is the finished eye look. I feel it's like a very Halloween look. Halloween appropriate for sure. I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't know yet if I'm going to do a second look. My honey is here and as much as I enjoy filming, he got here what Thursday night and since Friday I've been doing two videos a day. Um, it's a lot, you know, like even though I do like to take advantage when he's home, I also like to enjoy time with him. So I don't know yet if I'm going to do a second eye look. Um, if I don't, then I'll just make sure to do a quickie eye look with this palette and create some more Halloween-esque eye looks that you can possibly wear to work or just for any Halloween occasion for this spooky October. So I will either jump into eye look number two or that's it. We're done with this video. Okay, my lovelies, let's start eye look number two with the strange and unusual palette from Bella Beauty Bar. And I'm going to dip into the red today. Lydia is the name of the shade. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get a second eye look, but here we are. And that means I can. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start this shade off on the outer corner and I'm tapping it first. This is a Morphe M330. Hopefully this packs on this shade okay. I think I'm going to do kind of a halo eye. From the looks of it, I'm really gonna have to pack this. Let me grab a different brush. Okay, instead I grabbed this BK Beauty 203. It's like a fluffy flat brush. Since I do my halo eyes a little bit different than like your standard, a flat, fluffy brush works well for the inner corner so again I'm kind of just stamping this lower lash line as well and I'm not trying to blend just yet mostly stamping this is going to go in here too. Might regret this, but I won't put too much, just a tiny bit. Okay, that's what this is looking like. Definitely not the easiest red I have worked with. Now we're going to jump into Barbara, which is the matte white, and this is a Sigma E25. And we're going to use this white to blend out the edges and kind of create a pinky little tone. I probably have a rag handy um, because your brush will start turning pink since you're mixing white with red and blending, of course. So your brush is going to start to turn pink And if you lose the red, it's fine. Just go back and retouch it. Okay, this is what it's looking like. Not 100% happy with the blend. I kind of feel like, I don't know. Well, maybe. <laughs> I feel like the red kind of just sat there and it was really hard to blend out the edges with the white. But it looks okay, I guess. Let's move on. <laughs> We're going to jump into Adam now, which is this shade right here. And it's the black shade with the tiny specks of glitter. This is a Sonia G detail brush. We're just going to deepen up the outer and inner corner a tiny bit, very lightly dipping into it because I don't want this black to take over the eye look. So I'm lightly building it up. And I'm also going to bring a tiny bit of it here on the lower lash line. I 
And if I need to go back into the red, I will. Now in here. And I kind of just go like right where my crease starts. Literally just dip my brush in right where it comfortably lands. That's where I go. If you're ever wondering. Okay, I did put on my NYX glitter glue right in the center and I need to pick between these two. I might just use both, honestly. Um, Juno and Witch, Witch Doctor. So um, let's go ahead and lay down Witch Doctor first and then we'll do Juno on top. Oh, that's so pretty. Right in the middle. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. I think this is going to be perfect because it has like a red orange type of shift to it and it just looks so beautiful and so yummy. Okay, that's what that's looking like. So pretty. Now we're going to jump in to Juno. Oh yeah, it's going to go right in the middle. And if you feel you put too much of the Juno, it's fine. Just go back and add some more of the Witch Doctor. Okay, now we're going to jump in to Sandworm. I am going to spray this uh, BK Beauty 207. And this is going to be our inner corner shade. Oh yeah. The green in this is going to go well with the red tones in this palette. Okay, and now with a fluffy brush and the shade Barbara, now that I think about it, I probably should have done a white inner corner, but it's okay. This BK Beauty 202 brush, it's like a fluffy brush. I'm just going to go over all of the edges. Make everything look seamlessly nice and blended all right mascara all that good stuff and i'll be back okay my lovelies here is the finished eye look I look number two, very bold, very out there. I kind of regret not using white as my inner corner. I think I would have liked that a tiny bit more than this, but I still feel this is a very beautiful out there eye look. <laughs> I did go in to Wayne Goss eyeliner to tight line and for the waterline, but only on the outer corner in Copper Flame. And I totally forgot to put highlight on my brow one. <laughs> Oops. Okay, but yeah, here is the finished eye look. Let me scoot you on out real quick, show you a full face, and yeah, this video is done. <laughs> Okie dokie. For the lips, I have on the Milani All Natural Lip Liner and this Makeup Forever Liquid Lip In. 240, I cannot read the actual name, but 240 is the shade. Uh, I don't think it goes 100%, but this is what we're working with today. I'll have everything else linked down below. So definitely feel like when it comes to this eyeshadow palette, every eye look you create is going to be pretty like bold, out there, colorful eye look. I didn't use three shimmers, so this one, this one, and this one. 
everything else I used and every single eye look was pretty colorful. Okay, well that is it for eye look number two. Do not forget to let me know down below which is your favorite eye look. I think because this one's a tiny bit more warm, I'm going to have to pick this one. Although the first one was very, very beautiful and I feel like probably would go perfect for a witch Halloween costume. Okay, so let me hand it on over to Mary for swatches, all the good stuff, outro, and yeah, okay. All right, my lovely, so now comes the big question. Is this palette worth your money? This is a pretty pricey palette, $69 but it is an indie brand and it does have a lot of very super special shades, multi-chromes, duo-chromes. Um, that is the reason why a lot of these indie brand palettes cost a lot of money because these special shades cost more money to actually make. Number one, if you don't like Halloween, you're not going to enjoy this palette, honestly. Um, number two, if you don't like to be challenged with your eye looks, I also don't feel like you're going to enjoy this palette. Now, can you create some more simple eye looks? Yes, of course you can, but be prepared to be challenged just a tiny bit. I would definitely say that the stars of the show are the shimmers and the special formula shadows in this palette. The mattes, um, I did end up dipping into the black just a tiny bit for this eye look right in the outer corner, like you can even see still. I felt like it was kind of lifting or patching. It was so odd. It's not doing it so much on this eye, but on this eye for sure. So I did dip into the black just a tiny bit. So I feel like the mattes aren't performing as great as I would like them to. Did it still get the job done? Yes, it sure did. But I just feel like the quality is not as great as I would like for it to be. So for sure, the stars of the show are the special shimmer shades in this palette. So if that's what you're looking for, then you will definitely enjoy this palette. If you like color, you will definitely enjoy this palette. The formula of the shimmer shadows are pretty nice, very special, and I cannot way to play a tiny bit more with this just because it really challenges me to come up with some interesting eye looks. I think that's the main reason why I really wanted to pick this up because the color story is just so interesting. Yeah, so um, I enjoyed it and honestly it's a personal preference. Such a colorful palette. It is a Halloween themed palette that it's not going to be for everybody and that's just it is what it is. All right, my lovelies. Well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea. All the likes, all the comments, everything. I absolutely appreciate it. With that being said, I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some near fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. I would love to have you. All right, guys, I will see you on the next video. Bye.